Hey YouTube, it's Patrick J. Hilaria here, your real estate investor and real estate coach. And in today's video, we'll be talking about how to pick a mentor. So essentially, you don't want to really take advice from people that don't walk the walk. Now in the past, I thought this person was giving me good advice and kind of offering some mentorship. And this person was really just someone that was in business school. Now I never went to business school and a lot of what I've done has just been trial and error and eventually getting good mentors. But in the past, I was essentially listening to this person and I thought like I had to go to business school, I had to learn all this type of lingo and eventually I kind of just figured out like, whoa, this guy doesn't really know what he's talking about. He's never really made a profit, never really started a business, not even a side hustle and instead just started working in essentially a place that you don't even need a business degree in. So essentially what I went out to do is find a mentor that actually does the business, whether they went to school for it or not, but they actually make a profit, they actually provide value, and they've built something out of nothing essentially. And now they can offer me real life insights and experience that someone that maybe just went to school without the experience can't necessarily offer me. Now, if you're liking this type of content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and smash that notification button, and I'll show you my first property. Now, let's jump right in into three ways that you can find the right mentor. So the first thing you wanna look out for when you're looking for the right mentor is you wanna try and figure out their motives. Are they really out there to help you, genu genuinely offer you value so that you can really maybe even go further than they have in their own business or their own skill and endeavor? Or are they just trying to sell you something and then leave you after they've made the sale? Now, you really wanna try and figure that out, so don't be afraid to ask questions. You don't wanna assume that this person really has the right, let's say, um, motivation and the right goals for you and they're really looking for your best interest. Instead, ask as many questions as you can and really try to figure out, okay, is this person gonna be the right mentor because they care for you and they actually want to provide you value and take you to the next level. Next thing you wanna look for when looking for that right mentor is making sure that they take their own advice or at least they've taken their own advice in the past. Now your mentor could be a couple levels ahead of you or even way ahead of you. So that means they're probably operating at a different paradigm. However, when they were at the stage that you're at, they probably, and hopefully if they're the right mentor for you, have taken certain actions, get, got certain insights and are using different mindsets that you want to implement so that you can reach that next level with them. Now, if they're way further ahead, a good mentor probably won't give you the exact things that they're doing right now because you might not be ready for that. However, they are essentially gonna be able to what's called scaffolding, which is a teaching technique, which they'll give you the right steps to where you're at so that once you are able to use those steps in your journey, then they'll give you the next steps and they'll continually help you reach the next level in your journey, whether that's business or again, in any skill set. Now the third way to find the right mentor is you really wanna test for integrity. Are they really just trying to deceive you or are they telling the truth and really making sure that they can actually help you and genuinely care for you? Now that level of integrity comes in both ways. One way is that, hey, really good mentors admit that they make mistakes. So you really wanna watch out for mentors that seem to be too perfect, that only tell you, okay, if you do step A, B, C, you're gonna get results A, B, C, and nothing can go wrong. A good mentor will actually show you different blind spots that maybe they had. Because a good mentor, yes, they'll help you take the right steps, but the great piece about having a mentor and the advantage they'll give you is that they will actually help you avoid certain pitfalls that they've made in the past. So again, you wanna test for integrity, that's a mentor that really sticks to their values and is okay admitting, hey, I'm a human being, I make mistakes, here are some mistakes I made in the past that I can help you avoid. One of my own mentors, and in fact, something that all my mentors share, whether that's my mentors for teaching, my mentors for real estate, and my mentors for the coaching side, 
all of them admit their own mistakes and they allow me to make mistakes. I remember one time when I was still teaching, I was essentially teaching biology. I was making a little bit of a mistake. I wasn't really sh too sure what I was teaching and I was kind of taking a step back and I could see my mentor in the back of the class kind of making a grimace, making a face and he's just like, mm, but he let me screw it up after we talked about, hey, this is some things that you could fix. And then he was totally okay with me going through the process of failing forward. Now, my other mentor, when it comes to real estate and the coaching side, one of the best things that he's taught me is that it's really important to have speed of implementation. This means that the moment you learn something, you have very short amount of time that you can actually implement that so that that lesson sticks. So that's something that he practices all the time. I see him constantly learning, constantly trying new things. And then the moment he learns something, he'll share it and then he'll immediately start implementing and doing that. And that's something that I try to do in my own practice as well. So again, myself that I have now many mentees, people that I coach myself, I do the same thing. I encourage them to fail forward and that it's okay to fail as long as you do your best and as long as it doesn't ruin you for life. And at the same side, it's also important to have speed of implementation. So again, I'm just taking ideas that my mentors really use on a day-to-day -day basis. They pass down to me and that now I use on a day-to-day -day basis so that I can pass that on to my own students. Now, maybe you're someone that's looking for a mentor to really give you the step-by-step -step to really get into real estate investing and really grow your portfolio. Now, if that sounds someone like you, I'd love for you to hit the link below, hit that Calendarly link below and let's book a free real estate strategy session so I can really figure out, okay, how can I be a resource to you? So to quickly recap the video, if you wanna find the right mentor, you really wanna make sure that you determine that they have the right motives, that they have your best interest in mind. Next, you wanna make sure that they take their own advice or at least they've taken their own advice in the past when they were at a different paradigm. And then finally, you wanna make sure they hold a high degree of integrity and that they're okay admitting that they make mistakes and that they're human too. Now, thanks so much for watching. And really the lesson here is that a mentor is not easy to find. You really wanna filter through the right people. And also, a mentor is not necessarily gonna save you. They'll give you the step-by-step -step so that you can really speed up the process of you learning However, it's still you that needs to take the action. So if you like this kind of video and you love this content, again, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It's Patrick J. Hilary here, your real estate investor and real estate coach. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys at the next video. Peace.